Prince Harry was absolutely furious when he had to be dragged home due to newspapers publishing leaked details of his official duties, royal expert Duncan Larcombe revealed. Prince Harry had steam coming out of his ears after Buckingham Palace called him back from official duty due to security concerns. The now Duke of Sussex was forced to return to London from deployment in Afghanistan after newspapers published details of his position, putting his safety at risk. Royal expert Duncan Larcombe said the prince was furious at the leak and fled to Botswana with girlfriend Chelsea Davy to calm down. Speaking to Yahoo's The Royal Box, Mr. Larcombe said, one of the other real lows in Harry's life was when he was dragged out of Afghanistan because his secret deployment had hit the papers which meant he had to come home. He was absolutely furious. Where did he go? Straight to Botswana with Chelsea Davy straight there and spent a couple of weeks there. Almost like, it's where he goes when there's steam coming out of his ears to calm down. Prince Harry himself admitted Botswana has played an important role in his life ever since his father Prince Charles took him and his brother Prince William to visit the country after the death of their mother, Princess Diana, in 1997. Mr. Larcombe added, Botswana, in particular, has been this sort of bow for Harry. When he was a 12-year-old that was the first country that he went and had some private time after his mother's death. Of course now, taking Meghan there, it's a very, very special place for Harry. Harry has returned frequently to Botswana and in 2016 visited again for his third date with now wife Meghan Markle. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will make their way back to Botswana in the autumn when the couple will be on a tour of African nations including South Africa and Angola. The royal tour will also mark the first official visit abroad for their son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. Speaking to magazine Town and Country in 2017, Prince Harry said, I first came in 1997, straight after my mum died. My dad told my brother and me to pack our bags we were going to Africa to get away from it all. This is where I feel more like myself than anywhere else in the world. I wish I could spend more time in Africa. I have this intense sense of complete relaxation and normality here. In 2017, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex celebrated the Meghan 36th birthday with a five-day trip to Africa. Speaking about their romantic getaway, Harry said, I managed to persuade her to come and join me in Botswana. We camped out with each other under the stars. She came and joined me for five days out there, which was absolutely fantastic. So then we were really by ourselves, which was crucial to me to make sure that we had a chance to know each other. Meghan and Harry confirmed they plan to travel to South Africa this autumn and that will be their first trip as a family. The news was announced to the world via their Sussex Royal Instagram account in June. While the precise dates of their South Africa tour are yet to be confirmed it's believed it will be a shorter trip than previous royal tours. Speaking at a press conference this morning Britain's High Commissioner to South Africa, Nigel Casey, said, We're hugely looking forward to that and thanks in anticipation for that and all the support that I know we're going to receive. Although Prince Harry struggled to deal with the pressures of being a member of the royal family, he managed to find happiness during his time in the army. However, when an unexpected incident took place while he was serving his country, the Duke of Sussex was left furious and reached out to Chelsea Davy. Before Prince Harry married Meghan Markle, he was a young man with an impressive army career. Unfortunately, his time in the service came to an end, when news of his deployment in Afghanistan was leaked. Once details about Harry's location began to circulate, he was forced to return to Buckingham Palace over safety concerns. One royal expert claimed the young prince was devastated by the news and went to Botswana to spend time with then-girlfriend, Chelsea. During a conversation with Yahoo's The Royal Box, Duncan Larcombe revealed the leak that ended his time on the front lines, also took an emotional toll on Prince Harry. One of the other real lows in Harry's life was when he was dragged out of Afghanistan because his secret deployment had hit the papers, which meant he had to come home, he explained. He was absolutely furious. Where did he go? Straight to Botswana with Chelsea Davy. Straight there and spent a couple of weeks there. 
almost like, it's where he goes when there's steam coming out of his ears to calm down, the commentator added. Although Harry took the trip to clear his mind, the Duke of Sussex also had a sentimental attachment to the location. Botswana, in particular, has been this sort of vow for Harry, Larkum shared. When he was a 12-year-old that was the first country that he went and had some private time after his mother's death. Of course, now, taking Meghan there, it's a very, very special place for Harry, the royal expert continued. In 2017, Harry told Town and Country that Africa became his safe place following Princess Diana's death. I first came in 1997, straight after my mum died. My dad told my brother and me to pack our bags we were going to Africa to get away from it all, he explained. This is where I feel more like myself than anywhere else in the world. I wish I could spend more time in Africa. I have this intense sense of complete relaxation and normality here. Prince Harry and Meghan have shared several special moments in Africa. Lately, there have been rumors claiming the two plan on moving there with their baby, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. However, the couple has only confirmed the continent as a stop on their royal tour in the fall. Prince Harry and Chelsea dated on and off for seven years, before the prince met and married Meghan Markle. Before he met Meghan Markle, Prince Harry was completely smitten by Zimbabwean-born beauty Chelsea Davy. The former couple, who met in Cape Town, South Africa, dated on and off for seven years with Harry even introducing her to his grandmother, the Queen. Eight years on, and friends are still convinced Chelsea is the one that got away. Now, new idea can exclusively reveal Harry was desperate to marry his first love. But before he could propose, Chelsea ended their romance, leaving him heartbroken, with some even suggesting feelings that strong don't ever go away. Speaking to new idea, Andrew Morton, author of Meghan, a Hollywood princess, says, Chelsea could have been the right girl for him. They spent a long time together, but she just couldn't take the publicity. Now, by contrast, we have someone who is an actress, who was used to treading the red carpet, who is in the tradition of a Grace Kelly kind of character. Because after all, royalty is about theater, and Meghan knows all about that. Despite the Duke and Duchess of Sussex having already celebrated their one-year wedding anniversary, some say Chelsea would have been better suited to the royal family than Meghan, who has been labeled difficult and controlling. Meghan recently came under scrutiny yet again, with rumors the former actress is on the hunt for a house in LA so that she and Archie can be closer to her mother, Doria. We know Doria and Meghan are very close, Doria has been a very special, intrinsic part of Archie's life and it would make sense if they bought some place out in LA, says the Sun's correspondent Emily Andrews. Somewhere they could go for holidays, school holidays, and Doria could stay. While Harry is a dedicated father to Archie, now three months old, and committed to his marriage, body language experts reported that the prince appears unhappy and could be struggling with his wife's dominating behavior, which could be pushing Harry away. Some worry that if Meghan continues to be difficult, it could drive a wedge between the royal couple, who have also come under fire for their use of multiple private jets, despite expressing their concerns for climate change.